uh, let's uh, create a new project and continue from uh, last time. So select a uh, WPF application. Uh, so you can give any name. And select the uh, .NET framework 706. And uh, make our new project as startup. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do here is uh, we want to uh, create a screen and uh, for whatever can be screen is what so any any connection uh, uh, any it can be any connection container. So we want to create that uh, maybe here, and then we want to uh, uh, connect uh, with uh, that using MVVM. So first, uh, what you want to do is uh, uh, you can go to your project and uh, add a model. Okay, so I'm not using any uh, folders here. So you can add a class. Okay. So this is our model. So uh, we add a person uh, model. Okay. So make it public. Okay. And then we uh, uh, so last time we added uh, few properties. Okay. Uh, like uh, uh, we added uh, several properties. So what we added? Uh, so string first name. So uh, we. So what we added last time, so these are the properties we added last time. So first name, last name, age. So these are the properties we added last time. What else? Okay, an image. And string. Okay, so these are the four properties. Uh, of our uh, model, and then uh, after adding these properties, we want to add a construction uh, to uh, uh, initialize our objects from. Uh, uh, so you can uh, do like this. Uh, you can add your or or you can uh, press uh, 
control dot and uh, create generate constructor so that may be the easiest one and you want to add all these four values and generate your constructor so you can generate the constructor and uh, it will uh, take a same last uh, name in each and each and initialize all these four buttons okay. so this way uh, you can uh, create your constructors faster otherwise you want to type everything Okay, uh, so these are the four uh, things you want to do, and then uh, before uh, connecting this one, so we have a uh, view. So uh, to connect these modules to the keyboard view, so this is our view. We want to add a class, so this is our uh, uh, we call it architecture. A pattern we call it pattern or architecture so we need a, another class so we call it new model class so we use the same name as uh, we use the same name as uh, new class as our uh, New class. So new class name is main window. So this is our uh, new class, and then we add a view model to the end of the name, and we create the uh, name, and we make it public as well. Okay, so what what is next? So to create the engineer, we need to install. Uh, the uh, uh, framework. Okay, so if you haven't installed it, you have to install it. So you have to install it uh, one by one. I mean, uh, so still I uh, don't have anything because I installed this in the uh, previous project, but this is a new project. Even though it is in the same solution, so it might you have to install it again. Okay, so these are uh, local to uh, a project. So you want to search for MVVM community toolkit and install community toolkit.mvm. So you have to be very careful not to install this Microsoft toolkit. Okay. So you install it. So now it's done. So now you can derive this from uh, the observer. Okay. Okay. So now you can see there's an error. You can remove the error using this uh, uh, bulb, or you can click here and uh, press control dot, that is the easiest one, and then uh, 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 you have to select the best option, which is uh, using community policy, MVVM component mode. So you have to add that one, and then uh, here we go okay. So now we set up our MVVM uh, framework, and now we have to uh, and now uh, uh, for whatever the properties. Okay. So first we want to initialize our data. So I will create a constructor and uh, I will create a list public. Uh, 
column. So you have to create a list of persons. Okay. So you can say any name for that, maybe people. Okay. And then you have to uh, create a new list if you want, but I will uh, initialize it here. Okay, and you can uh, initialize like uh, uh, you can create the list. So here, what we do is we create the list, and then we can initialize that and the same target. Or you can create the list. Like this, and then you can uh, use add method to uh, add uh, each. Uh, okay. okay, so you can do any. Uh, you can use any uh, method. Okay, so last time we used the other one. This time we will use this method. So new person. You want to add a new person, and the uh, First name and the last name and the age and the image name is uh, so what are the images uh, we had? So what are the image name we will be using? So one Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. So this is how uh, you can add uh, one by one. So we create that. So we have an animator in the list, and we can uh, add three. So I will copy this and uh, add several people. And then I will change the name. So you can have Now, uh, uh, if you want to uh, bind this uh, to uh, to properties, usually uh, we can make these elements as optional properties. We don't want to do that. Like, uh, let's do it. Uh, so, for example, uh, 
Um, so you can. Uh, okay. So since uh, yeah, we don't want actually. So so if you do this. So you can make this as an observable property if you want, but it's not necessary. So what can we do is that so we have to make something saying that we need to make a parser because uh, the code is auto generated somewhere else as well. So actually, what happened is if this whole object is changed only. Uh, this is a uh, not fine. If you change and the value is here, it will not be changed. Uh, not fine. So we will see uh, that later. Okay. How to uh, notify that part? Okay. So. Uh, uh, Okay. So what we want to do it now is to, uh, to connect this with our view. So we have a view model class. So we want to connect this with our view. So what we want to do is we want to make the data context here now. Uh, in the data context is our view model class main window view model. Okay, so if it is given an error, just uh, reveal the solution. Okay, so now uh, we want to create the uh, uh, new model object in our CS file, main window CS file. So you can expand this uh, XML file. And go here and here uh, in the constructor, what we want to do is a uh, data context as an object uh, property equals new uh, in window. So now, uh, when the uh, connection is made, now you know what you want to do. Do it. So you can use the data binding now to connect with the um, other um, new and the uh, new model. So now we want to go to the view. Okay. So we want to create an uh, element. So we will create a stack panel. Uh, so you can have anything uh, you want, and you want to uh, uh, create a list field. Now uh, after that, you can uh, give the uh, uh, so now uh, this is binded to. Uh, uh, this one, so as you can see last time, we uh, did this. So we can check, I, I mean, we bound this property called item source, okay, and we bound it to our uh, property. So here also we want to do that. So now we are in the uh, view one, uh, we are in the view class, so we create a list view. And we have when we create a it's a collection view. So we, we want to uh, give the uh, source for this. So it should be a collection. So we call it item source of the list view, and we have to bind it, binding and table. Okay, so now we can see that uh, automatically. The data is displaying here, but now it shows the class name because we don't have a template. It doesn't know how to display the data. Okay, so it will uh, display the class name. So if we run it now, so 
So if you run this now, so it was only uh, my classmate and the uh, class memory uh, namespace name. So now, what we want to do is we want to tell the uh, view how to display uh, this data. Okay. So for that, we need, uh, so last time we use a uh, border and uh, we check last time what how did we uh, display. So I think we need a border. Uh, yeah. So we use the border and we, uh, so we will do the same thing. So first, uh, we have to specify the list view. Uh, item template. So this template is for each item. I don't mean each row. So each row uh, we are giving a template. So now this is how to display it. So the template is a data template. Okay. So now you can see uh, uh, when we have a client, we can display it as the item. So now we, we can display something. Uh, so we can display a border. Uh, border uh, adding. So, adding five, five, and then uh, we want to uh, say a uh, border brush, say black. Okay. And then here, so we have a bit of height. So we will, uh, because of that, it doesn't uh, display anything. So uh, now, each border, so we can make the uh, border radius as well. Now we will uh, inside this one we can have a stack panel and orientation horizontal. So, so this is uh, each item. I will display each item. So I have a template is uh, So we have a and a border. So file the file. Like that, and then border brush, and then inside the border we have another stack panel. The other stack panel is a horizon. So now we can display an image. Okay, so image source. So we don't have any image now, right now. So. So what, so what we can do is you can uh, uh, create a folder and add the only image. So you can, uh, so I will copy from uh, the previous project. Okay, I think I can copy like this. Okay, so everything is added to the project. Now you can uh, make 
And the hard disk. So now we can see uh, that they have uh, our data template is like that, and we have one folder, and it's just like that. We have one element, and we can see this display. So now we should have another element maybe for, uh, we'll say, edge. So for edge, we will have an explorer. And then uh, we will have the same. Uh, so you can style this uh, using style, style, style uh, properties if you want. So you can say for size. And then the text text equals binding. So uh, you can bind it to person, uh, maybe a uh, person. Okay. Size is twenty. Size should be maybe. I we have this maybe. So now you can see. Everything is correct. But we have the same image. We have the same image there. And we have the uh, different uh, first We did this last time, that is what. So we can do this uh, same thing uh, for the uh, last name as well. Uh, And maybe uh, for age. So I mean, in the age, it seems.
So now we have uh, Okay. Now what we want to do is, uh, we want to change this stuff. So we want to go to the view model class. So uh, the model class. So here we have uh, an image, we need another property. So, uh, so we will see a uh, public string uh, image URL. So we only want to get return. Okay. So uh, we need uh, because uh, as you can see now uh, the image uh, name. So we are giving only the name, but uh, here we want to. Uh, so here we want to add uh, the image name and the path. Okay, so only we have this one. So later uh, we can convert that into a. Uh, Image name since last time. Okay, so we have to return a formatted text. So we return uh, slash images. So we have to take the path. Images and the uh, image name. Okay, so now if you uh, bind into image URL, it will have a different uh, path name using the image name. So now we can go to uh, our main window view. So now we want to bind not, uh, to the uh, static uh, file name but to the property. So the image URL. So now if we run in this one, so you can have uh, now a uh, different ways. Uh, Now what we want to do is, uh, we want to uh, uh, delete and add uh, items. Okay? For that, uh, we want to, uh, so what we will do is, uh, we will, uh, we will uh, go to the view class and uh, add a button. Uh, so we have a list view, so I will minimize the list view. So below that, I will create a button. Okay, so button uh, the text, the content of the button is uh, delete. Okay, so uh, so we will add some styling here. So we. Okay, so 
That's why we have that. And in margin, uh, yeah. So you don't want to have. Uh, so you can, while running, you can do uh, these type changes. So if I uh, so make this, uh, see, so you have this running now. Okay. So if I make the changes usually and save it. So for example, if I make it twenty, so you can see uh, these things are changing. So while running, we call it hot hot reload uh, because uh, because of that we can delay. Otherwise, uh, it will take time. So, some application may take time to do that. Uh, not the WPM application. If it's a web application, okay, it will take time to start. start up. So, what, uh, what we can do is usually in Visual Studio, you can uh, edit while running. Okay, So, we call it hot, hot reload. So, most of the properties you can do. So, you will add another button. So what we want to do is I will stop this because uh, it takes uh, space. So what I want to do is I want to uh, connect this. Say for the chart, I have. Okay. So I want to connect. So I want to uh, have a uh, command. Okay. A function. So I usually I write all my logic in the view model class. So here what I want to do is I want to write a method. So public uh, remove. That's Okay, So, uh, uh, so I will uh, uh, delete So we will do that uh, soon. So you can use uh, uh, whatever call. Uh, a library called link to do that. So, so you can take people, people, not uh, remove. Remove it. Remove it. Okay. So now what we will uh, happen is when you click this one, it will remove it. First okay. from the uh, list. So you know uh, about link list arrays. So using uh, this one, you can uh, remove an element. Okay. So now we want to uh, connect this. So uh, this one is in view model class. It's all okay. Whatever thing you want to do. And uh, if you want to bind this to a command or an event, uh, we want to. Uh, annotate this as a relay. Come on. Okay. So 
So now it will generate a new command and uh, we can uh, use that command in the uh, view uh, to uh, call this uh, function. Okay? So usually what happens is it will take this name and, and uh, command the name command uh, to it. Okay? So it's auto generated. Every, all the port is auto generated. You don't want to worry about it. So now we can go here. So we can bind the command binding uh, remove person command. So this is auto generated command. So we have a method called remove person and we make it relay command. And now in the button, you will have that command available. So now we will run this and see whether it's working. So we click the link person, it's not working. Okay, so what is the reason? So we will uh, put a breakpoint here. Over here. Okay, first uh, we will see what is happening. Okay, and we click this one, it's done. Okay, so now uh, the count is earlier 6, now it is 5. So now again, we can uh, call this. So now uh, the count is 4. That means that the element is removing, but it's not okay. The same problem. What we had earlier. So what is the so now we have these all these uh, uh, framework and uh, partial classes. Everything is uh, fine, but it is not updated. Okay. So the problem is in this. Okay. The problem is this normal collection class uh, does not have this uh, update uh, mechanism. So we want to change this list to observer collection. Okay. So this is the a new uh, data, uh, data collection or data list. So it's not a list. Now it has more uh, properties. Okay. Uh, so it's observable collection. So when we change that one, then that's an error. Let's see why it's the error. Okay, so it will be an observable collection here as well. So now, you have to this observer collection. If you want to create a new observer collection, okay, now it is fine, and now we can. Okay, so now you can see it's getting delayed. Okay, that's an error. Okay, so it crashed because we have never tried to link the uh, element on my list. Okay, so we have to uh, fix that. So, how do you fix it? So, 
So what we want, what we can do is, if equal the count is greater than zero, we can nil. So now, So now it's uh, not caching. Okay, now uh, uh, now you have a task. Your task is to create the AMP method. So when you create the AMP method, it will, uh, it will uh, say, it will uh, create a new person and add to the uh, collection. So try to do that. So you need a new new function and make it a command and then in that function you add a so you know data structures now. So you must be able to uh, use uh, the and method uh, to and so we are using that here. Okay, so it's the same same thing and a new person. And uh, then when you click that add button, it should add a new person. So it should be on some
There are several errors you are making. One is uh, the most common error is uh, this naming convention. So, so when you are uh, writing this, I mean, in any language, you should follow this uh, standard, coding standard, the language standards. So here, usually in C uh, the uh, variable names are simple and the properties are capital. So, so usually, so this is a variable name. Okay, this is a member variable, not, not the property. Properties are usually uh, you have get and set. So you should know uh, the difference between a property and a variable. Okay, and uh, so here this is a variable name. 
So when you put this uh, observed property annotation, it will generate the property. Okay. So if we have simple people, it will generate the capital uh, people uh, this uh, property. So that is why we can use it. So when you are binding, so if you when you are trying to bind uh, this uh, property uh, to uh, your controller, you will be uh, prompt with both uh, variable and the property. So if you select this one, uh, normal uh, variable, it will not work. So you have to use the generated property. So this is the first uh, error most of you are getting. And then some of you could not get the uh, uh, images displayed. The reason is uh, when you uh, compile, so this everything goes to one directory. All the EC file and the images should go into a, direct, uh, a separate uh, file, separate directory. So these resource files are not copied okay, to the final directory. If you and to copy it, you have to specify. So you select all these images, whatever you want, right click, go to properties, and then uh, go to the build action, and you have to select the resource. Then only uh, the, the images copy to the final destination. So these are the four errors most of you are. Uh, Okay, so the next part was uh, to uh, add a person. So we uh, need to create a uh, method and person. Okay, so the uh, people is my uh, this thing and add. So new person. So you can add a new person if you want. Yeah. Or you can have say person. person. So so you have to uh, give the first name. Um, so create a new person object. First name is this. Last name is red. Age is uh, twenty, and the image name is uh, uh, something. Same. Okay. And now we add that person to. Okay. And now we want to make this a command, otherwise, we cannot bind it. So we command. So now we can uh, access it in the uh, view class. So now that connection is automatically made. So you don't want to do it. That toolkit will do it. So this is the list view. Minimize it. So here at person. So command. Binding and person. So 
for now. Any remnants? So you can delete and okay. the problem is you are in the same place. You can uh, have a random uh, random image, and the uh, so usually uh, this uh, object comes from a, uh, a it can come from a database or it can come from an internet uh, as a uh, request. Or something like that okay so so here we are creating the same person but this object can come from a database or a, a internet phone uh, okay from a server Yeah. <laughs> 